And then Chase, you want to go over some of the guys that have been performing pretty good recently? I know the two guys that I've heard a lot about are Robert Hassel and Joshua Mears, just tearing the cover off the baseball. But you want to kind of go into some of these guys, other guys in the farm system that are either doing really well, um, maybe getting moved up or maybe struggling a little bit. Yeah, so uh, there was a knuckleballer. I'm currently forgetting his name. He got moved up from high A to double A. And in place of that, Carlos Huarate also got moved from low A to high A after his uh, six innings hit list with six strikeouts. And I don't th believe he's made his first start yet, but it should be this week. Robert Hassel has been hitting over 400 this July with over 1,000 on base, or not on base, uh, OPS. He's whole average for the year is like 313 he is proving that he can play center field and do it at a high level i'm hoping that they promote him soon and i'm hoping the Padres don't trade him because he would be a great replacement to either myers or fam in the next couple of years um brandon valenzuela he's hitting like 294 over the course of the year and he's hitting over three 354 in july you know he's killing it too um I'll always mention Adrian Martinez, the righty, throws a hard fastball, electric slider, mid twos, he's in double A. I think he can get called up at any time and be successful. Uh, Anderson Espinosa had a good outing. He threw, I think, two and two thirds innings with six strikeouts. You know, after the whole fa a fiasco with him being ejected from the game for supposedly having a substance on his glove, it's good to see he come out, throw his stuff electrically no substance, get a couple more innings, and kind of limit the hits and runs this time around. Uh, Joshua Mears, um, he definitely needs to be talked about. His power is coming around. He's hitting for more average. He's raised his average to 243. He's had a really hot end of June and beginning of July. Absolutely amazing. If he comes around to be the prospect that he is, we could have uh, James Woods and uh, Joshua Mears, two absolute – beast running around the outfield just launching bombs which would be a great to see with Hassel and center you know the future is you know really bright for the Padres that they can continue to develop these bats as they have yeah yeah so just a couple guys that uh I'm just gonna bring up stats uh from yesterday I don't know how they've done in the you know the past couple games I'm reading this down on the farm article uh Tucupita Marcano two for four with a with a, it looks like a two-run bomb uh, Luis Camposano, two for three. I remember there was a video not that long ago of Camposano hitting an absolute tank. So um, I'm I'm a big Camposano guy. I really like Camposano. I think he'd be a great – I think he's going to be a really solid hitting catcher. Um, so that's good to see, you know, that he's succeeding down in the minors right now. Um, other guys, uh, Taylor Coley, Coley, I don't know how to say that, three for five. Um, Chase brought up Anderson Espinosa. Huge to see him go two and two-thirds with six strikeouts. That's really big. Um, Chase brought up how, yeah, he was out with the sticky stuff for a little bit. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it affects him that much. I think he's going to be, you know, Chase has brought up before that how people think he could be a new Pedro Martinez. Um, maybe he can, you know, maybe in the starting rotation or even in the bullpen, he'd be an amazing piece. So, um, you know, Robert Haas has been amazing. Jordy Barley at one point led, led the storm in, in home runs. I don't know if that's still, that's still the, the case, but he's having a solid year for sure. Um, and then today, today's probables, Chase brought up Adrian Martinez. Adrian Martinez will be going on today, I think, Friday. We're recording this on Friday, so he's going today. Um, but, yeah, the miners looking good down there. A couple guys, Robert Hassel, Luis Camposano, two of our top five prospects. They're looking really solid. Um, hopefully we see Mackenzie Gore starting to throw in there soon. I think my biggest takeaway just from how the farm's been performing – is the future of the outfield looks really bright. Like, obviously Grisham's there, and if you guys listen to our show, you know that we absolutely love Trent Grisham. Also, don't know if you guys have looked at Grisham's, like, career numbers. He's pretty much improved in, like, every hitting category every year. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Um, won the Gold Glove last year. He's a stud center fielder. If you add in Wood, uh, James Wood, and uh, is it Woods or Wood? It's Wood, right? Okay. Yeah, James Wood, uh, you know, we've seen he has, like, the most insane physical, like, attributes of 6'7", 240, launching nukes. Um, Joshua Mears has over a 900 OPS in, in, at uh, Lake Elsinore. 
uh, should be called up to double A very soon. Um, it's looking really bright. Uh, Chase, you kind of, you know, showed a, you briefly mentioned the, the vision of having those two guys as a corner outfield, and then you have Hassel as well. You also have Trent Grisham. Those are four guys that could be really, really good pro ball players. And that's something that's really exciting because you see what's been invested into the infield. Uh, you have your, your left side for the next 10 years. And then at second, you have Jake Cronenworth, who hopefully plays out all of his control. And then your depth piece is Haseon Kim, who we also think could be a really, really good player. Um, Eric Hosmer is kind of locked in at first base. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but this team's like the lineup's really filling out. So really exciting stuff there. Uh, Myers contract's done in a couple years. You know, Fam's a free agent. We've talked about extending him, but there's definitely a lot of options down the road in the next couple of years that can take over and, you know, potentially be dominant players in the MLB. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but I think that'll, that'll do it for this episode. Yeah, wanted to talk about McKenzie Gore a little bit and just get into these prospects somewhat. So that'll do it for today's episode and we will talk to you guys tomorrow.